What's up you guys? The Doc is Holt here and welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you are doing well. Uh, so today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a pattern review on a spring dress that I absolutely love. I just finished it um, at some point last week, but I am absolutely in love with this dress. Um, I think it's perfect for spring. Um, the fabric that I chose, I think it's just, is going to be just great to transition from spring right on into summer. Um, and I will be wearing this dress for many years to come. So if you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out together and you can catch these videos once a week. All right, you guys, so without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so here we go. I am reviewing McCall's 7744. Um, you've probably seen this in my spring sewing plans video, <laughs> but this dress, um, I don't even really know where to start. It's just a gorgeous dress. I ended up sewing view A here, which um, has like a, well, they're all off the shoulder, but this one has a short sleeve and then it's just a dress with a band and some um, elastic here to hold it up on the shoulder. Um, this dress, I absolutely love. I think for view A, there were only like six or maybe seven pieces, uh, which I love that just to be able to cut it out and um, not have like a million pieces. <laughs> um, I think it could be really cute in a number of different fabrics. Um, I actually use Seersucker, which I have a little piece of it here just to show you guys. I use this blue and white, light blue and white Seersucker. It's got a little texture to it um, because it's light and it's airy. And to me, it just screams spring. And I also use just regular white thread. Um, I use polyester, yeah, 100% polyester white thread. And you can't see the thread um, on the outside of the garment. So white went well with that fabric. So there weren't a whole lot of steps to putting this pattern together. Uh, like I said, there were, oh, there were actually five. So just five pieces, pattern pieces to cut out because the front and the back, um, the front was actually cut on the fold. So that was just one big piece. And then the back was cut out twice and sewn down the center back seam. Um, yeah, so, you know, I felt like the putting together of this pattern was not extremely difficult. It came together pretty quickly once I actually started it and there weren't too many things that were confusing. Um, the one step that I did find a little confusing was the finishing, which is around step, let's see, 39, <laughs> when it has you um, do something with the sleeve and the, and the band that goes on the front of the dress. So this little part right here, this band attaching to this sleeve, it was a little tricky um, the first time, but then I read, reread and reworked it and it turned out great. So if you're going to sew this dress, just keep that in mind um, to take a little extra time when you get to that last finishing step, just to make sure that your band and your sleeves turn out correctly. Um, let's see, what else about this dress? There was some interfacing, not a whole lot. Only one piece was interfaced, which is piece number one, which was the front band. So this part that goes across here was interfaced. And that just gave it, um, you know, that extra thickness and stability right there at the top, which really, really turned out nice. So overall, I really enjoyed this pattern. I loved making this dress. Um, like I said, with that seersucker fabric, I will put a picture of the dress here for you guys to see how that turned out. Um, I was concerned about the length of the dress. I think I told you guys that last time, but it turned out really well. Um, 
it, it is one of my shorter dresses, but I'm okay with that. <laughs> I probably won't wear it without my husband around, but um, I really like it. It didn't make me feel like it was going to fly up or away <laughs> in any way. I felt secure in my dress. <laughs> so um, I thought the length of it was good. Um, if you are taller than me, I'm 5'9". If you're taller than me, you probably want to lengthen it using that line um, in the middle to add a little bit of length to it. But if you're, you know, five, eight or, or below, unless you don't like a, so a short dress, then you should be fine. So the fabrics that they suggested you use are cotton blends, gingham, seersucker, and shantung. That's where I got the idea to use my seersucker. Um, and that turned out really well. The only notions that you needed, if you were sewing view A, uh, were three fourths of a yard of one inch elastic for the sleeve bands. And then if you were sewing view B, half a yard of three eighths inch elastic. So like I said, I did, I sewed view A. So I ended up just needing the three fourths yard of one inch elastic. As far as the cutting out of your pattern pieces, um, the cutting layout, um, I like to share that with you guys because sometimes they have you fold it twice or lay it out once or um, fold it once from one side and once from the other. So this one was actually folding it in half, completely in half, cutting out your front on the center, uh, center front on the edge, on the fold rather, cut on fold. <laughs> and then after that, they wanted you to open up your fabric with the right side facing up and then put all of the other pattern pieces on that and cut it out. So, um, you know, have a heads up of what the cutting layout is looking like. I had thought about making the belt with view A, even though it didn't come with view A, but I wanted to kind of give the dress some contrast uh, with accessories. So as you saw in my picture, I did pair it with like a camel colored belt and a camel colored shoe. And I felt like not only did it cinch the waist, but it actually added um, just an extra element of interest and just some different color in there to, to just kind of give it some contrast. So if you wanna make the belt with view A, go for it. Um, but if not, that's another option just to add some, some other accessories. So I think the next time I make this pattern, I think um, if I make this pattern again, even though I love it, um, I think I would make view A again in a different fabric, just because out of all of them, this one speaks to me the loudest and this is my style more so than any of the other ones. Um, so I'd love to see it in um, a different fabric just to see you know, how that turns out and what that looks like. Um, another thing that I loved about view A is that on the back, and view D has it as well, but view A, if you can see, let's see, I always have issues focusing. It's got that tie on the back, which to me is just so cute because, um, you know, it's pretty pretty straightforward and, and plain in the front, but then you turn around and there's this nice little um, accent of having this bow in the back. So I really enjoyed that as well. Hopefully you like this pattern. Um, if you're thinking about making it or you already bought it and you're on the fence about sewing it up or buying it and sewing it up, um, it is a great pattern, great dress, right on time for spring and summer. Um, and I think that you'll love it. I, I think you'll love it and I'm sure you guys will look great in it. So uh, let me know if, you, if you've already bought this pattern um, or if you're thinking about buying it or if you buy it, let me know. Um, so hopefully I gave you guys some tips and some interesting information about this pattern and about this dress and hopefully you'll try it out and i know you'll love it if you do definitely pick it up at the next pattern sale and have yourselves a ball <laughs> all right you guys well thank you so much for joining me today for this pattern review i enjoy sharing everything with you
All right, you guys. Well, thank you for joining me again for this pattern review. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up down below. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? You know you want to hit that subscribe button so that we can continue to hang out together and you can catch these videos once a week. All right, you guys. Well, I hope the rest of your week goes absolutely wonderfully. And until next time, I will see you guys later.